Hi lovely and darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy and this time I'm doing another Top 5 Wednesday. As always, the Goodreads group is in the description below if you want to check that out. This week's topic is books about witches, which I have personally expanded to be witches and the male equivalent of wizards. So these are books that have magic in them and magic users. So getting it out of the way, if you guys haven't already read the Harry Potter series, this takes place at a magical school, Hogwarts, and it's fantastic and I seriously think that Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone book one is required reading. Like if you read book one and don't like it, okay, but if you haven't read these yet, do it because they are like the most wonderful thing ever. So these books are just so vivid and real and the world is so well thought out. I love it so much. So getting the obligatory Harry Potter out of the way. So the first real book on my list is 50 Ways to Hex Your Lover by Linda Wisdom. This is a paranormal romance featuring Jazz, who is a witch, and her cop vampire boyfriend, Nick. And the two of them are hunting down a serial killer. And I just love, <laughs> I love the two of them together. They're fantastic. And this world, and it just feels so Halloween-ish and so intriguing to find out like what's happening with the serial killer. And the relationship between Jazz and Nick is good because it's got like this really long-term on-again off-again relationship like they've been hooking up and breaking up for centuries basically and it's just it's fun and there's definitely chemistry between the two of them which i love about this mostly it's the two characters that i love about this book less than like the witchcraft although that doesn't hurt the next book on my list is a girl's guide to witchcraft by Mindy Klasky and actually the entire jane madison series this is book one and it follows Jane Madison, who is a librarian in, I think, Washington, D.C. Basically, she works at this small library, and when her funding gets cut and they can't pay her salary, they offer her this chance to live um, in this cottage behind the library, rent-free. And so she takes it, and when she's cleaning out the house, she discovers this stash of books about witchcraft, and she starts reading them and decides to try some of the spells. So she ends up creating this familiar, and the cat turns into this sassy talking creature, which I, I love him as a side character. And there's another spell where she, like, casts it and every man in the area starts falling in love with her. And really there's just some disastrous consequences to some of the magic that she's casting, which brings the attention of this magical enforcer, David, who is tasked to kind of stop her from doing any more magic slash teach her how to do it correctly kind of a thing. And I love Jane and David together too. So I love the fact that she works in the library. I love the way that the magic works in this world. And I love Jane and David's relationship in this series. And I totally recommend these. They're fun chiclet with magic in it. The next book on my series is Enchanted Ink by Shauna Swenson and the entire Enchanted Ink series. These follow Katie Chandler who isn't a witch. She's actually immune to magic, but she works at a magic company with lots of wizards, which is why I picked it. I really love this world, and I love the fact that Katie can't do magic herself, and also the fact that her common sense and small town values are really what make her so good at her job in New York. And then we've also got the entire company of MSI Inc. with all the wizards and magical creatures that work there and the way that magic works. And I especially love Rod and Owen, who are two best friends. And Owen is just so cute and adorable and shy, but also like really nerdy. Like he spends all his time studying arcane old magic books and trying to develop new spells out of them and working with like magical theory. I love this world. It is really fun chiclet magic um, story. Okay, the next book on my list is Witches Abroad by Terry Pratchett. This is one of the Discworld novels, and it's one of the books that focuses on this coven of witches. I love the witches in Discworld, like Granny Weatherwax and Nanny Og, and it's Discworld, so they're like satirical parodies of what we think of as witches. Just in general, the witches are fun. Also, they're, the magic users in Discworld are the only ones who are alive, who can talk to death. Grim Reaper, which is like my favorite character, so I love the conversations that they have. The Witches Abroad plays with the fairy tale ideas that we have. In particular, we have a fairy godmother that hides a princess, 
only it doesn't quite work out well because when the prince she's supposed to marry grows up, he uh, almost marries this peasant girl that has been posing as the princess, I think. Chaos starts ensuing and the witches need to set everything right and it's fun. I honestly don't remember much about the plot, but I definitely remember the witches in this book. Um, I think it's time for a reread on this one. But I love this world so much. So much of it. So my final pick is The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. These are horror comics from Archie. This is by Roberto Aguirre Sacasa and Robert Hack. This is a reimagining of the Sabrina the Teenage Witch in the 1960s with Satan worshipping witches, basically. This is really creepy and definitely earns its horror title. Um, let me just say that. So the coven themselves worship Satan, and Satan even makes an appearance in these comics. Definitely has a darker tone to it. And the witches are really creepy, like they use dead body parts and really creepy things to make their spells. They also eat dead human corpses. There is reanimation of dead. So in these comics we have a character who's been killed coming back to life and trying to seek revenge on Sabrina and her family because she was supposed to marry Sabrina's dad. We have Sabrina trying to fumble and cast spells. One of the spells that she casts is this love spell on Harvey. I really, really love them, but they are definitely creepy comics. So if you want a spookier witch and or want to read comics, I recommend these. So those were my top five picks for books that have witches in them or magic. Let me know in the comments below what your favorites are, and I will post the link to any of these that I have reviewed down in the description below. Peace out. I love you guys and keep reading. Bye.